What is good? It is your boy Chimmins here, and we're back at it again with another album reaction review. And today we got Pink Sifu and Benji Too Rich with their new album, collab album, Is Too Quiet. Um, this is uh, Pink Sifu's second album of this year already. He dropped the Be Kool Aid album with uh, Ali, so uh, another collab album, uh, Leather Boulevard, or, like earlier this year or something like that. Didn't get the chance to review it, but really smooth super smooth like jazzy album um r&b ish even just really relaxing really down tempo um yeah i really really enjoyed that for like, just a just calm vibe um and uh, i'm not i'm not too familiar with benji too rich i do know that he was on pink seafood's album gumbo i think he was on like three or four songs off of that um, one of my favorite songs off of that album, actually, um, I think it was like Bussin or like, what was it called? Like, uh, yeah, Bussin, Cold. Uh, it's one of my favorite songs off of there. He was, he was on there. So I'm kind of expecting more of a gumbo vibe, I guess, just given the, the album title, the fact that Benji Too Rich was on gumbo. And so they already had that sort of chemistry. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think he was on tour with Pink Sifu as well, like last year. I don't know if that was two years ago. And so he also had that sort of like high energy, like hype energy on stage um, with his solo music as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited for that. Um, like I said, I mean, Pink Sifu can pretty much do it all. You know, he does, he does all genres. Like there's really nothing the, the man can't do. But uh, yeah, without, without, Further ado, it's too quiet in here. Um, uh, first song is "It's Too Quiet." Damn. How about with your kids? Make your head to a basketball and I'll bounce that bitch again. Sometimes I think I'm astronaut, sometimes I'm alien. These bitches wanna make the man's what make the payment then. I only care. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm already liking the production, liking the energy, like how lighthearted, you know, the rapping is. You know, nothing, nothing too serious, just fun. Um, but yeah, that that beast switch is, is hard. Um, I, I was I'm kind of gonna say like the uh, too rich. Uh, his rapping sort of reminds me of uh, Uno the activist. So it's kind of I don't know if it's because of the beat as well. But given the beat switch as well, that like that beat definitely reminds me of like a Uno the activist sort of vibe, sort of sort of sound atmosphere, which I love. Love that guy's music. So are already a fan. Oh, it's pretty wild how Pink Sifu can sound so comfortable on any beat. Like, like he's been making that, like, like he's been making that type of music forever. You know that that that's how it sounds. Like, he just sounds so authentic, raw. Like, yeah, just comfortable, just just riding the beat. It's hard. Our next song is. W-Y-W-D, what, what you want to do, maybe? Snap a nigga like Will. Okay, J. Rock reference. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a crazy beat. Uh, like, I don't even know what to compare this this one to. Can't lie. Yeah, that's pretty... It's fun, though. Our next song is Nigga Leave. Production on this album is going crazy. Definitely, and I'm loving the energy too. My next song is Looking Gorgeous. Featuring Wi Fi God, bro. I, I haven't heard Bro in so long. To the metal, bro. Like immediate, just, just gas. It's crazy. It's hard. And they're definitely bringing a lot of noise in. Our next song is Jeff Hamilton. Ooh, very froggy. appreciate it bro like this is this is crazy this is actually damn that's my favorite one so far for sure i think this is like a this song is like a level level up bro this is damn that beat is gorgeous i i, I love the the beat like during the verse and everything but um i think when lance skywalker came in on the course like it sort of switched up a little bit kind of gave it a lot of like, variety Cause I I'm liking the beats on this album so far, but like I think I think it was the the prior one maybe or maybe it was like Nigga League or something like that where like the beat was it, it still sounds cool but like it does become repetitive like after like a minute or so. But here this beat is is insane. I can't lie, it's a hairy frog. <laughs> When I 
that, the, like that part, art. What, whatever they did on this song is crazy. It goes hard, and insane. I could, I could, I could hear this being on the radio or something for sure. Crazy. Okay, that goes into the velvet room. Definitely the, the chillest song so far on the album. Our next song is Extra Prelude. Cool little relaxing meditative music. Ooh, okay. That goes right into extra. That beat is also heavenly. Damn. Oh my god. Another, another hit. It's easy. Yeah, damn. Like, it's crazy because, like, this album has been, like, really good. But, like, then you have these instances, like, this song and the uh, the Jeff Hamilton song, where, like, uh, it's, it, at least for me, like, it's blowing me away. Like, like I said, like, the album is already good, but then these two songs, like, it's just crazy. Like, it's just, like, a step above like i don't know if it's just because it's like speaking to me personally or what they're doing but damn like it's just it's just good <laughs> it's just really good i can't lie damn because because it's like unique like but at the same time like i could see this being on like some like mainstream album like it doesn't feel you know, as much as I love sort of underground music, like it doesn't feel like underground. Like I could see a mainstream artist making this exact song, but like I have it. like not in the not in the in a way where it's like oh it's like predictable where like it just sounds mainstream, but just like the quality where it's like oh it was a person spent like a hundred thousand dollars making this song or like type shit. Like that's how it feels. That that's why I'm saying like this could be. On, on some like a uh, Drake album or something like that, because it just sounds so good, like so crisp. Like, damn. Fire, amazing. Another one of my favorites for sure. And I also love like the prelude where it's just really calm, like I said, like meditative, and then it just just transitions into this. It's fire. Uh, next song is Cadillac or Lex. Mm. This is 
alien ass beat, bro. Damn. Oh. Our next song is X. Mm. Damn, that's like that um uh Black Panther um song. Are you on ten yet? Oh no, I don't think on a different song. It's like a mix between that song and Fiend. Like Fiend, ten. Are you on ten yet? Are you on ten yet? <laughs> Got a random soul sample in here. I can get down with that. Our next song is R.I.P. Britney Murphy. That's a random ass title, but yeah. R.I.P. Britney Murphy. This is a, a crazy beat. That's, honestly, it's a scary beat, bro. It's kind of like a stress inducing beat. Mm. I could I could see Danny Brown hopping on that. Oh, that could definitely uh, that, that could be a collab for sure. Mm. Our next song is Pig Head. <laughs> Count so much my thumbs got locked up. Mm. Ah, I like that aggression. <laughs> they just gonna smile when they talk about why they hate you. Our next song is Swamp. Got the sinister as a Dark and mysterious, this song sounds. That bass line is hard. I'm not afraid of nothing but my mama dying. Hey, fast. All right, next song is Peace Sweat. All of my niggas think it's chill because that's when I'm on your ass. Our next song is Uptown. Bro. Perfect, perfect song to like, like the instrument, like the production and the instrumental, like perfectly 
sort of matches, I guess, like what Pacey was talking about him sort of for talking about his childhood with how he grew up sort of very personal things sort of sort of seems like a like a diary entry like rec recollection of sorts of just memories and what else not I, I love like the the water sound in the background um very different from the rest of the album so I, that's why it's like just so like the contrast between this song and the other song just makes it more seem more special and then given what Pink Steve was talking about like you actually like sort of really think about what he's saying. It's hard. Per perfect song. Man, whatever she said, all the lies hard to tie down. Then it lost track. We the guys who are hard at clap. We are hard at follow. It's hard to act like niggas don't follow. When I'm passing it, I got me cat skin. Could have sent an invite message in the bottle. Read it when I can't steal. <laughs> Copy cat scan. That's hard. When I was in the pig, my shit stopped. Real only you love the background vocals too. Whoever is harmonizing, fire. All right, next song is "What I Became." I guess we're on the come down of the album, like on the last two songs. All right, next and last song is, is On The Flow. All right, maybe we'll look at this uh, another party anthem song. They're making noise before before the album closes, for sure. Okay. It's like a club anthem. <laughs> I'm on the map. Definitely like a, a club party anthem right here. It's going crazy. Almost sort of like in the dance genre, like EDM, almost. But that's interesting though. And that concludes It's Too Quiet by Pink Sifu and Too Rich Benji. And first thoughts, initial conclusions. Very, very fun album, I have to say. Um, Kind of, uh, definitely in the vein of Gumbo, like how I expected. Uh, yeah, very energetic, the production, just, and the, just the content, very lighthearted, but also, you know, also, you know some, some serious things here and there. But for the most part, just I think the emphasis was to be fun and engaging, just in your face, but not like extremely aggressive. Um, there were a couple of sort of more aggressive songs than, than others, but uh, for the most part, yeah, just sort of, just yeah, ha having fun party sort of album. Um, there were a couple songs where I felt like it went above and beyond sort of the, the baseline that the rest of the album gave. And not that the baseline was bad or anything, because I think, yeah, in general, the album is good, but two, three songs in there that just, I don't know, like they just stood out like so, like so much to me. And so, um, yeah, it was, was really, was really nice to hear that. It was really nice to see. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't say it's, I felt like it was a bit more experimental maybe, or more sort of polished maybe than Gumbo as a whole. I don't know, maybe I have to go back. Maybe that's a, that's a reach. Um, but, yeah, love the features on here. Um, yeah, Tourist Benji killed it, and Siku killed it. Lance Skywalker, amazing, killed it. Uh, Wi-Fi God, also amazing. Um, yeah, I think I think this album left me satisfied with like what I was expecting to hear, but at the same time also surprised. Like, oh, like, like no, that was great. Like, I went above and beyond on this one. Like, this was like 10 out of 10 completely. Um, and, uh, what else? Uh, 
she did like how they kind of slowed it down at the end as well. You know, it, it wasn't just completely full energy on go every single song, every single moment. Um, I like the beat changes in there. I like the previews that they had in there that sort of transitioned into the full songs. Um, so yeah, just a well, well polished, well rounded project to be honest. Um, but yeah, that I'm, I'm gonna say exactly which songs like really blew me away. Um, Jeff Hamilton, I, I, that's definitely my favorite song on the album for sure. Um, I think Extra as well um, blew me away. And um, what else? Maybe Pighead or Swamp, where it was like a bit more aggressive that, that, that I really liked. Um, but yeah, no, this is a, a very fun album. So if you're looking for some fun to listen to, um, I could definitely see myself just listening to this just in the car, or maybe like while I'm gaming, hang out with friends, something like that. Um, I mean, some of the last one in there, I could definitely see had a, like an actual function, like that actual party too. So um, yeah, a lot of variety on this album, but for the most part, just really fun, really cool, cool album. So that's all I got. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know what y'all think of the album. It's me, your boy, Jimmy. Peace.